Bag fuel, baby. Where did the business side of this come to you? Because it seemed like that you was building it, but where did the love and how did you learn how to make money from this shit? So when I when I uh, I started the trucking, I, I got connected with some some white guys to start a trucking company in, in like 2000. Okay. And built the trucks up. Me and Echo, you know, built truck. And Echo, I told them about Echo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Built the truck. Me and Echo always doing stuff together, and then um, got some mortgage companies doing that, and then. But everything I was doing, I wasn't really loving. You know, trucking, I, I love. My father was drive, used to drive a truck. So you was driving a truck? No, no, no. I had owning the trucks. own trucks. We, had, we had started with 10 and, and built that. it up to like 50, 80 Damn. trucks. You know, like, yeah, I had no we, idea. Yeah. What was y'all trucking around? Uh, no, LTL. We was doing uh, like different freights come to one uh, the warehouse. We pick it up and then bring it to Florida and wherever else in the country. Okay. And then, and then deliver it. But it was, you know, we started trucking, you know, and then our real first business and then the mortgage I did on my own and then you know the, the NASCAR thing was my thing like I, I I wanted to nobody would believe that I'd be in try to get NASCAR everybody thought like I was crazy you know what I mean I remember talking to, I was trying to get like celebrities to help out because I know Nelly was one of the names I heard attached was that does that predate you no so Nelly Nelly never I don't know the whole deal with Nelly. Yeah. You know, I don't want to talk on it. You yeah, know, yeah. Know, but it, it doesn't. It, it, he was there doing the truck series thing. I don't know if he had ownership or he was just there. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what what the deal was. It's never noted that Nelly is an owner in the sport. I, I, I it never came up like that. But I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I got you. People attack. Like I was trying to attach Pharrell early. You know, like and I went and talked to him through Johnny. You know, uh, Johnny Cake the barber. Yeah, Johnny. Yeah, yeah Johnny Cake. My <laughs> yeah. guy. What was his? So Pharrell was like, man, you, you'll never make it in there. Him and him and uh, Loic, his uh, business, he was like, that'll never work. You know what was the apprehension other than? They just thought NASCAR was just super racist and they won't, won't let a black person in the way we, we need to be in. Mm -hmm. And which at that time, it wasn't super racist. It was, it was a culture that's not there now. You know what I mean? Like when I got in, it wasn't no blueprint for anybody like me to get in the sport. I had to figure all of it out on my own. Like I had to really go down there and meet with NASCAR legends, you know, to this day and so, talk to some them. of the legends you met. Well, back then my first person that I met was like Robert Yates. He's a legend, you know, yeah, NASCAR. Yeah. I, I sat down with him. He's the one who pretty much started the, you know, my blueprint of how to work into the sport. How did you facilitate sitting down with him? So it was, yeah. a, so I remember like I, I was doing late model races with a kid in Jersey. So I was like, I can do this. What is late model? Late model. So well, I don't know. Yeah, I, I apologize. Okay. I apologize. What is I apologize. late model racing? It's, 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 a, it's a kind of car. It, yeah. it, it's series. series okay. yeah. So you go from, it goes late model, okay. then it goes ARCA, mm -hmm. then it goes truck series, Xfinity series, cup series, which I'm in. Yeah, okay. It's levels. Yeah, it's, so yeah. if, you, if you equate late models like Pop Warner football. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And then you do, okay. if you do ARCA, that's like high school football. High, high school football. Yeah. Then the truck series like college. I gotcha. Xfinity's like semi-pro, and then Cup is like pro football. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Oh, we would quit with like Xfinity the XFL now or, gotcha. or something yeah, like I gotcha. that. You know? I, gotcha. uh -huh. I don't want to get, you know, XFL. So I started in late, these guys out here in Jersey was running late model. They okay. were in Springfield. They owned the body shop. And I was like, I always wanted to get in NASCAR, so I was like, doing a year with them trying to figure out. And I was like, I know enough people sponsorship wise that I can get into the higher level sport. You is, know? That, is that what it's about? Sponsorship, sponsorship wise? Does. To, sponsorship. to move you up? Yeah, I mean, it, that's that's the the jits of it, but it takes a lot more. Okay. Like, but if sponsors do, rule the sport in any, any business, any you know business. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So um, I met a guy calling up, trying to get sponsors to get into a high level, a guy named Bill Cajon, an older guy, he was like, you come down, I can introduce you to Robert Yates. He, you know, so I flew down there, met Robert, end up not doing stuff with him, but got another team at the time, you know what I mean? And then worked my way in NASCAR in 2008. And that, you know, from, from work from now, that was the, at that time, nationwide series, sponsor wise, but it's, it was, it, today's date is Xfinity series. So that's, yeah. that's why I started on a higher level of NASCAR Xfinity. So Yates is the one that gave you the blueprint on how to go about Getting, getting your in, business in in, in the nationwide yeah. Xfinity Cup level. What of, are some of the uh, things that he told you? Yo, cash is king down here. If you got the cash, everybody else is, you know, that's when you move it around. 
He's like it, he was like down here, everything equates to cash. Where's down here in that no, South North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, yeah, North that's the main that's hub. The, that's the main hub of, of NASCAR. NASCAR. Yeah, NASCAR. Yeah, of the teams where all the teams yeah. are based are based in North Carolina. Question. I'm jumping ahead, but I gotta get this off. Um why what made you go into NASCAR and not open wheel like F one? So is it too much money or it's you? Too much money. So most people, mm. general people, don't even know the difference between that. F one is the the, the, car, know, the open wheel. Yeah. Lewis, the terminology. Yeah. Them, right? so, I thought you would be there this weekend. Yeah. So most people don't even realize the difference between F one NASCAR and Indy. So NASCAR looks like a real car. The real car. Watching, yes. It looks like a real car that you buy in the showroom. And it's just gutted out. No, it's a whole. It's not even no. gutted out. It's it's a, a totally different chassis body. When I mean gutted, they don't have a rate. People, you know, people thinking that they see the car. You know, you got to take the radio out, the floors out uh, for weight distribution. No, but it's not even that. You thinking it's a car that we buy and we gut it out. It's a different chassis. It's mm -hmm. everything. Like, it's parts how we put the car together. It used to be you build a chassis, now we buy everything from different uh, mm -hmm. vendors. You know what I mean? But it's basically nothing like the show car. It just looks like it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's nothing like a car you buy, but mm -hmm. exactly looks like it. F1 is open wheel, so you see the it's no fenders over the wheel. Gotcha. That's what they consider open wheel. And Indy's the same, but Indy cars are smaller than F1 gotcha. cars. F1 is the most expensive. Um, Why is that? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I it, feel, it has a certain level of not. I don't want to use the word bougie Yeah, it's from like France and stuff like that. No, no, it's not that. It's just it's just so they race all over the world. Yeah. One and then. They use a lot of technology in F1s, and those cars are really expensive. So the competition level costs more for them to be competitive. I have heard from one Mercedes driver, I won't say his name, that they budget. I, there's only one I can think no, of. I mean, it's a couple out there. there there's only one. Know, Don't do that uh, to me, that, John. That the budgets are north yeah. of five hundred million dollars um, yeah. for them. You know, and then is that yearly? Yeah, yearly. NASCAR budgets uh, yearly if you're a competitive team between. It used to be 30, but now it's down between 15 and 20. All right, but 15 and 20 million, right? Mm -hmm. What is that, when when you say that it's worth that or the value, what's that going to? Is that going to your racing all year? Yeah, is so it going to the car? It goes, 15 to 20 to? million goes to racing all year, 37 races from February, Daytona 500 to the end race to Phoenix, the championship race. Mm -hmm. And do you use that money to pay your staff? Just pay your staff, mm -hmm. pay travel, car, fixed cars, motors. I mean, the engine bill a year is like three point three million dollars just for you know replacing the engines yeah. each week. The cars right now are about a half a million dollars a piece to build, you know. And then you got to have seven of those, you know. But so you have seven cars. I yeah. mean, yeah, because they got multiple you got drivers. Multiple, no, not multiple. You, you got. I mean, depending on the teams. Yeah, most teams don't have multiple drivers. I mean, the bigger teams they have one driver that r races for the championship, mm -hmm. but you have the each track, so you. You'll bring a car to the track, and you got you got multiple tracks back to back. Mm -hmm. So you bring one in in a in, in a, uh, that you use, one in the trailer that sits here in case you crash in practice, and then you got guys at the shop working on the next week car and the car after that. Oh, so you don't race the same car every week? No, it's a different, no. It's a car. different car. Yeah, on the track. yeah, because you got to really take those cars apart. You on the track for five hundred miles, it's going to take. Brutal. You got to change so brakes. You got to change. So the car is half a million. Yeah. And you got to have seven of the half a million dollar cars. So right there, that three point five million. Yeah. So 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 a, a team, certain the bigger teams keep seven seven cars. Okay. You know, then the smaller teams keep four because you can you can get away with running a car twice, but you won't be as competitive as as a, mm -hmm. as, a as a team that's running that has seven cars. Yeah. You won't because they're changing their stuff out. They they're able to take that car and spend time on that car setting it up. 